Okay, Mike Swanson, the Wall Street window here. This is going to be a very interesting day in the markets. The GDP numbers just came out. Uh, they show that the economy grew 2.9% in the fourth quarter, is slightly better than expected. Uh, the number of unemployment claims uh, also declined. Um, but what's going to be interesting is what is going to happen in the SP 500. We're poised to gap up. And we've been fighting with this downtrend line now uh, since January of 2022. And I think we're going to break out to the upside. Uh, there's a lot of skepticism about that. I know, uh, but I'm going to tell you, if you've been following what I've been saying and doing. <laughs> uh, I was someone that began to warn on the markets uh, in 2021 because the internals of the stock market uh, were going down while the averages were going up. A warning sign, a consistent warning sign that we're facing either 20% decline, a, a big correction, or a vicious bear market. And of course, January came last year and the bear market materialized. Um, and But now I have shifted my views. Uh, so I was one of the rare bears all the way down last year who is now bullish uh, because the internals of the market uh, shifted to the upside. Look, uh, world markets around the world have already broken out of this trend line situation six weeks ago. Gold is broken out. Silver has broken out. There's many stocks in the materials and mining sector already on highs. Copper has soared. So bull markets have already began all over the world, uh, but everyone focuses on this chart. Uh, you know, on Twitter and YouTube and everywhere else. And I think the markets, the U.S. stock market is just lagging what's going on over the world. And it's so is going to uh, follow. And uh, once the S&P closed about this trend line, a lot of these people that have been nervous about the situation will also shift. They will also start to buy. So what I'm eyeing for what could lead to the upside, you know, when it comes to individual stocks, um, is the semiconductor sector. And I talked about this the other day. Uh, it's already broken above its December high. If you look at the chart uh, or indicator on the bottom, uh, we're looking at the SMH semiconductor ETF. It's I have a relative strength um, ratio comparing it to the performance of the NASDAQ. And it's been trending up. That indicator is at a high. Uh, so semiconductors inside the NASDAQ, that's the sector that if we rally, and I think we will, uh, you know, overall going forward here, this is the sector that's going to drive the returns uh, to the upside for the NASDAQ and for the U.S. stock market. Um, a stock I bought and own because of this is NVIDIA. So I'm watching NVIDIA. Another one I own uh, is Skyworks. Uh, you can see it's testing its August high. You can see how the relative strength ratio has been trending up uh, since uh, October. Now, I also own uh, Intel, uh, and it, it's not been you know, performing as well as those other two, but it pays a dividend of around 4.5%. It's the largest semiconductor company. Now, it reports earnings on the close, so who knows what will happen with the stock after that. You know, I'm not really someone that day trades before earnings, so we'll just have to see. But I'll tell you, another tech, not big cap tech stock that I also own is eBay. And eBay is, you know, you could draw a, uh, you know, this this area right below 50, the high of August, the high of December. Uh, it's clearing that. Uh, so this is really a you know something that you could draw a base on it really from June and it looks like we're clearing that base. So to me that's a real exciting stock. These you know I'd rather buy a stock like eBay based on that chart than Microsoft, which uh, fell yesterday. You know, it's not above the turn day moving average. It's not breaking out. So, look, if the if the markets do rally over the course of this year, and I think they will, you know, I would expect semiconductors. I'd expect eBay to do better than Microsoft. But as I've been saying all along, 
you know, world markets are doing even better. Uh, but I like to diversify. I like to buy into multiple, you know, sectors. Uh, that's how I do things as an investor. And you can see what mining stocks have been doing too. So it's going to be an interesting day. You know, we will find out, you know, possibly if we have a good day today, we'll be seeing the S&P 500 close above that resistance downtrend line that everyone uh, has been uh, uh, watching uh, for so long. So let's see what happens. And if uh, you want to get my next video update, hit the uh, subscribe button on YouTube and hit the bell and you'll, uh, you'll, YouTube will send you as soon as it's up.